Why, hello there, my loyal followers. Jem here, and I have returned from my unexpected hiatus. So I haven't been posting any videos up for the last three months. I've been a bit busy lately with um, senior year that came up. I'm currently living out my senior year right now, and I just have not been reading any novels as of late. But I have finally gotten back into the groove, sort of, um, and I was able to pick up The City of Ember by Jean, Jean, or Jean, however she pronounces it, because there are multiple ways to pronounce this name. So I'm just going to say Jean Dupro. And so, um, I was able to read this for book club. I finished it earlier on today. Book club was today after school and I was able to finish this early in the morning like second period. So still fresh in my mind. Um, so I will try to um, read more books, post more uh, videos up for you guys, but I also have started a blog called um, Reviewing Manga and and anime from the past, present, and future. This is where I review all of my anime and manga and all this. There's some like really lengthy reviews, you know, I have a little intro of myself. And I actually had started that back in August. So I am actually going to be updating this monthly. Um, and it's not going to be like a certain pattern, it's just whatever I get done. So it could be like manga one month, next month could be manga, month after that could be anime. I mean, it'll just be a random thing. It's either going to be a manga review or an anime review each month. Um, so look forward to that. I will, I'm actually currently writing the um, review I have this month for the month of October. And it will be posted shortly on my blog. So you guys can go and check that out. Um, but back to the book, I was able to read The City of Ember by John du Jean Dupro, and I very much enjoyed it. I had been looking forward to reading this for a while, because I had watched the movie that came up on my TV, and I didn't know there was a book until at least the end credits where it said, book based on, I mean, movie based on the book by Jean Dupro. Um, keep saying Jean, uh, Jean Dupro. And so I was able to read this for book club, fortunately. Um, I do rate this an 8.5 out of 10. I very much enjoyed it. And um, if, anybody, if any of you have read the book or watched the movie or if you've done both, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. And if you've actually seen, or read, seen and read both the movie and the book, Give me, like, your thoughts of how the movie was. Because a lot of people from the re the reviews I've seen and read, um, a lot of people didn't like the movie. Um, they read the book first and didn't like the movie. I honestly thought that the movie was somewhat accurate with the book. Like, it's more accurate than most of the movies that I've watched. <clears throat> See you, Bones. Um, but, uh, so I thought the City of Ember movie was pretty accurate with how the book was. There were some minor, like, n um, minor changes to the movie that w weren't really in the book, but I thought it was okay overall. Um, again, I rate this an 8.5 out of 10. I'll give you the synopsis and then my own thing. Um, this will be a spoiler-free, um, review because it's such a short book and I will try to keep it very much spoiler free for you guys. Um, Citizens of Ember shall be assigned work at 12 years of age. Lena Mayfleet desperately wants to be a messenger. Instead, she draws the dreaded job of Pipeworks laborer, which means she'll be working in damp tunnels deep underground. Dune Harrow draws messenger and asks Lena to trade. Dune wants to be underground, that's where the generator is, and Dune has ideas about how to fix it. For as long as anyone can remember, the great lights of Ember have kept the endless darkness at bay, but now the lights are beginning to flicker. This um, 
is a dystopian novel, not really romance because it's more of a middle age, um, middle grade book. And so, basically, um, the city um, called Ember was created, and a, like over two hundred or so years ago. And so they were able to, um, a lot of people moved into the city of Ember, and they've been there for about 200, 300 years by now. And, um, a lot of things have happened throughout those years. They've created their own society, all their own rules. Children have to work at the age of 12, because you only get about, usually, normally, you start school at age, like, 5, 4, a little bit. And so you only get about seven or eight years of schooling before you're thrown out into the world, expected to be adults, and work for your money. Um, Lena um, is the main character along with Dune. She, um, she picks Pipework's laborer, and she's always wanted to be a messenger, running around the city, uh, giving messages to people, because they don't really have letters, they have messengers to verbally speak the messages to you, and so she likes, and she loves to run, exploring, um, the city, and, um, just being free, basically, and Dune wants to be able to save the city, he wants his father to be proud of him, and praise him for doing something marvelous and great, and so he wants to go down to the pipeworks. Well, actually, he wants to at first be a, an electrician guy working on the generator. But since he didn't get that, he thought that the pipeworks were the second best thing because the pipeworks is actually down there with the generator. Poppy lives with her Grammy and her little sister Poppy because her parents had died a couple years back. And so she takes care of both of them. She's already become an adult in her own household. And Dune has his father, and that's about it. And as the story goes along, these two characters don't really interact with each other at all. They used to be friends. There were flashbacks of what had happened between them, and that caused them to drift apart. But they used to be friends, and now they're not really friends anymore, so they don't really interact. So the book is in the third is in um, third point of view, and it does switch between two, the bo both of the characters, um, showing what happens to each of them, and then finally when they get together and um, work together and all that. Um, I'm trying to think of not how to not spoil. So Lena finds the instructions, as is what she calls them. And, um, she thinks that it's this big thing that could save Ember. She had shown the document to a couple of people, um, namely her captain, the one in charge of the messengers. She tried to tell the mayor about it, but it did not go over so well because the mayor never got back to her. She, uh, wrote a note for him, and he never got back to her on that. Then she showed Clary, who is, like, her best adult friend, I would guess, I would say, because her dad worked with Clary in the greenhouses. So, she is pretty close with Clary, and Clary actually thinks that the instructions are important. Dune, she eventually tells Dune, and Dune thinks so as well. Eventually, when Clary did, um, uh, when... Lena did tell Clary. Clary read the title. It said, Instructions to Egress. And Egress, they finally, um, she told Lena, meant the exit. So, or to the exit. So, Lena had found the instructions to get out of Ember. Because the situation in Ember has been very rough their supplies are low, light bulbs are low, food is low. Everything is a limit. They have a limited supply of everything. And the lights are starting to flicker. And once those lights completely black out, it's pitch darkness. There's nothing. There's absolutely no light at all. And so it 
becomes a it's a really difficult time for all the citizens of Ember. And as the story does move on, there is like um what's the word? An antagonist in a sense. There is an antagonist that tries to go against Lena and Dune. But in the end, they do um everything is for the better. I'm going to say I'm not going to tell what happens in the end, but everything does get better for Lena and Dune. But I won't tell you just yet. How the end is in the book, how it ends, it is a very nice ending. And so I um I would have thought if I didn't know better, I would have thought that was like the end of the book that it was a standalone and that was it. But there are like three other books there. I actually own the second one right here, The People of Sparks. And so I read the cover page thing that's like when you open up the book there's like a little excerpt here. I did read that and it turned me off a little bit. So I don't know if I will be getting to it anytime soon. I will get to I'll get to reading it eventually, but I don't really think I'm going to get be getting to it anytime soon. So those are my thoughts on The City of Ember. It was very nicely written. I liked it. The descriptions of the things that we... There are descriptions of things that we know, that we can imagine instantly if you say the name of it, like a book or a, um, or a TV. But how it was like... Stuff like um, how they've never seen before, but we take for granted every day. They... It, how it's described is kind of confusing. I wasn't able to really imagine it, so that's the only thing I would really have a problem with. Otherwise, it was overall a very good story, and I very much enjoyed it. Um, 8.5 out of 10, um, and I don't really know... Well, I sort of do know. The next book we're actually reading for my school's book club is The Sin Eater's Daughter, because I recommended it, and I really wanted to read it. I don't know if that is... A, if that is a series, because all I saw was the one book. But if there is a sequel coming out, or if you have any information on that, please uh, comment down below about it. And I that will be the next review that I will put up. Not sure when I will get done. I am getting the book tomorrow from my teacher. So that will be that. I will try to get the review out as soon as possible. I do still have author promo books or well, author promo reviews that I have to do. There are 10 books that... T my bad. Um, I've been like stuck on words lately. I have 10 different books from like 7 different authors that I have to read and I will try to get through those as soon as possible and put them up for all of you guys to watch. Anyway, that's all. I really... Until next time, I guess, because I really don't know when I will be done reading um, The Sin Eater's Daughter. Um, so that will be all. I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Keep on reading. Be a book nerd. Later.